What's up guys, it's Rise96 doing a figure review and this one um, I wanted to do for a long time and I thought this guy was pretty cool. I got him for a pretty good deal and um, yeah, so today I will be doing X Plus Legion. And Legion is from the um, Heisei Ganra series, as you all know. Um, this is the X Plus one, and I have the Bandai one, but I think the X Plus one looks better than the Bandai one, just better detail and stuff, so I'll be doing the X Plus one today. Um, well, first off, let's just get down to... Um, articulation, I guess. His head can rotate all the way around 360. Um, I think these are his hands, or her hands, or whatever the hell these things are. These things can go up and down because they're, um, the back part here won't let it go all the way up or down. And her legs kind of block it, so... We got that, then we got this back leg thing that goes up and down also. That can probably go, well, can it? No, it can't go 360. And the torso, or the upper body, can also rotate 360. And that's about it. Um... The detail on this thing, as I said before, is better than the Bandai um, Mother Legion. And it's a little... To, it looks more accurate to the film. In um, this case, the Bandai one's colors are... They're not that close to it, if I say so myself. But anyway, um, the detail on his face is pretty good. I like his um, Agua Blue Eyes. Those are pretty pretty neat touch that kind of pop out at you. Um, his her chest has all these little orange marking things. The the back part of hers also pretty nice with all of her um, little leg things right here. Um, underneath is just a flat surface so you can layer down nice and um that's about it I mean it's it is a lot better than the the Bandai one I have um so let's do size comparison next um first I'll just show the the Bandai Legion again just what that looks like I got the Little soldier, the soldier X Plus Legion. This this one's obviously not accurate, but it's just what it looks like compared to it. All right, now we'll start getting to the good stuff. Um, first, I'll just show a Godzilla guy, which is also pretty huge. Got Biolante, and that looks. Pretty good, maybe. Um, I would think Biolance probably a lot bigger, probably maybe up to here. At least that one's okay. It's not great. And last, get good old Gamera. And this one looks pretty good. Um, so if you're doing a little film, Legions obviously a lot bigger than them so that looks pretty well done and yeah that's about it um i got this guy at a comic book shop that sells godzilla and ultraman stuff i got him for 30 bucks which was a really good um really really good deal um i've seen these guys mostly on ebay up through the 50s and 70s range and so, 
I got both my legions for pretty pretty low price, so um them the only thing I really don't like though is um have to put this guy together. He was a pain in the butt. Um it took me a while to put because there's you have to connect right here the upper part of the body to this little like thing that's sticking out and it just wouldn't go in I had to forcefully put it in um, and that was really annoying but besides that the head went fine um, also these arm things were a pain to get in also and that that's all I really would have to say that the bad thing about this figure right here the x plus legion um yeah but that's about it for him for her sorry um so that will finish off this review and if you have any questions or any um figures you would want me to review obviously i have a lot of ultras and stuff back there so if you just want to ask um I'll be happy to do it since I have more free time. Um, but anyway, this is Rice96 signing out. Thanks, guys.